Hi, I'm Sean Smith. This is Sean Smith Photos, where I edit street photography and occasional travel photos in On One Photo Raw. So uh, today we're going to take a look at the the. So today we're going to take a look at the map module, geotagging, and how we can do that, both within On One and with the aid of a third-party program. In case your camera does not have built-in. GPS tagging. So I was thinking about geotagging because, you know, in the summer I like to do a lot of day trips and it's always nice to have an actual record of where I was when I took the photos. Now, I haven't really done this in the past because I take a lot of photos at home and I didn't want to have my camera or whatever auto adding GPS just for privacy reasons. I, I don't want photos of me being out there and clearly indicating where I live or even the neighborhood where I live. So, I mean, as long as you're cool with uh, whatever privacy implications you feel are important, you can tag everything or you could do what I intend to do, which is just basically just tagging when I'm out of town or maybe on one of my photo walks around downtown Toronto. Okay, so Let's uh, go take a look at the map module and you can do that by hitting the map icon down here or on your keyboard typing M and it loads up the map and by default it's somewhere in the Pacific Northwest I believe. Yeah, it's somewhere near Portland, which as far as I know is where uh, On One is located. So that's that's fine. They default that. And none of these photos here have any GPS coordinates, but we can manually add these coordinates ourselves. So let's go back first and I'm going to choose a photo that I know exactly where it was shot. All right, this one. This was shot uh, directly in front of Union Station, downtown Toronto. So let's go back to map mode. And what I'm going to do, I'll just type in uh, Union Station, Toronto. And it's going to zoom right in to that on the map. And how I add this information into the photo is I'm going to right click, but pay attention over here where we have GPS in our location tab or GPS in the XF tab. They'll both be filled in. So you right click, click here to set location, click it, and the location has been updated. You can see the GPS is here. If we go to location tab, we've got GPS. Beautiful. So how do I confirm this? I go over here and there's nothing. And I go back and it's there. But what about, I want the city, the province, the country, you know, uh, maybe the altitude and other information. Well, we can do that uh, by going over here to photo, set location from GPS coordinates. So I do that. Now it's updated here and we can see it's Toronto, Ontario, Canada. We don't get altitude, but if we use a third party application to track our, where we're taking the shots, I believe almost all of them will include additional information such as altitude, maybe even sub location. So, how can we do that? Well, the, the key for that is to using a third party application that tracks where you are and takes little pins and has a time tracker and everything. And then you use this file in conjunction with another software program to coordinate between the timestamps on your photo and the timestamps of where you were when you were walking. 
So the program that I used is Geotag Photos Pro. And I'm going to pull up their website right here. And you can see it has uh, an Android app, a Google Play app, and a, desk a desktop app. And the desktop app is available for Linux, Mac, and Windows. So it doesn't matter what operating system you're going to use, you can easily use this app. Okay, so let's take a look at some screenshots of... And here we are back in On1, and if we look through all of the photos, we can see that now in the right hand corner here under location tab, all the information is already there. So the GPS was added. It is super, super, super easy. So let's go into the map. And as I switch photos, yeah, you can see here that it's updating the location that the shot was taken at. And yeah, this one was taken where yeah, that's yeah, that's exactly where it was taken. And you can see the CM Tower from there. Same spot. So now, you know, this is really, really handy in that I can see where I was to take these shots. And uh, so for example, this shot of the CN Tower was taken from the Billy Bishop uh, Airport. And it was more of like a, a scouting trip. We walked over there. You can walk under a tunnel. And now in the future, if I want to come back and I look at this and go, oh, I would like to take this shot again in the evening. Well, now I know exactly where it is. Okay, so what what can we get from geotagging? Well, there's some nice things that we can do here. So, all right, so you can also use advanced search to filter by your GPS uh, coordinates or city or anything like that. So I'm just going to move to another folder here. I'll go to uh, April from this year and I'm going to hit control F. Alternatively, you can go over here and hit the uh, magnifying glass. I'm going to hit control F and I get up, pull up the advanced search and I want to find shots that are in any of my catalog items here and I want to all of the following rules and I'm going to go into here location GPS is not empty now you see here these are the shots that I just added GPS to and then up here, this is another folder that I tested in that first walk that I went. So I can also further add in here and say, okay, I want location, city, uh, contains Toronto. And now it updates and it shows all the photos that are taken in Toronto. And you'll see some doubles here. That's because this is including both my YouTube folder and the folder that the actual photos are residing in. So this, this is really nice. It gives you a, a, a lot of nice features or uh, searching features. One thing that I would like to see improved for the map is the ability for the map to show you pins for multiple photos. So this photo here is, where is the pin? It's right here. But if I go and I take a look at this photo, the pin is over here. But what I really want is for both photos to show up in the map. But on one doesn't allow you to do that. You can only see the pin for one photo at a time. So overall, I'm quite, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, some issues that I have with the software that I'm using to do the, the geotagging 
is that the maps are not 100% accurate. I think that would be uh, a nicer improvement. And then when I take a look at my trip here, I don't get a map view on the desktop. However, on the phone app, I do get to see the map. So I think it would be really nice if I could see the map with my route right here. Now, if you're not using geotag photos too, but you're using something else to create a GPX track, you can use their software or you could take geophotos tag or geophotos pro 2 and import your gpx file so you can import it from anything and i in the next few weeks i'm probably going to test out a couple of other uh, programs that provide gpx tracking because i want to see how accurate uh, the path is and i believe that there's a number of them that have free and paid levels so you know i'm not looking for a lot of features but maybe I can find something that's free, is accurate on the mapping, exports to a GPX file so that I can import it with Geophotos 2. Uh, if you're using some sort of geotagging, please let me know in the comments what you're using. Uh, is it like an actual physical GPS device or is it like this where it connects to your phone and then you, know, you can do that. One last thing is that um, Fuji, and I use a Fuji X-T5 camera, Fuji just released a new app that actually works. Their previous app had a lot of connection problems, but this one I tested out, works great. It will tag your photos in the camera. Now, the reason I don't wanna use that is it's gonna suck the battery life of both your camera and your phone because they're both working and then they're both communicating. So they're sending, you know, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi signals. I would rather just have my phone tag it, uh, create the track, and then I can use a third party software later and tag the photos that way. Anyways, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you have a great day.